Okay, YouTubers, this is The Anger Prepper. So today's video, we're gonna talk about something that I am not liking what I am seeing on the internet. And it's not the pro-Russia and the pro-Putin bullshit. Obviously and clearly those are psych patients that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Something else that I am noticing online that I think a lot of other YouTubers are noticing. And that is the I'm gonna give up if there is a nuclear war. Listen, guys, that is complete and utter bullshit. We, the prepper community, prepped for different reasons. And I know a lot of us prepped for things that we can somewhat control. But a lot of us also prepped for nuclear war, right? We have plans and all kinds of shit. We bought gear. We bought fucking into free strike goods. We bought all of this shit, guys, to make sure that our lives run a little easier during those horrific times. But we all have an understanding that nuclear war is going to be the most horrific point in human history. We understand that. And understanding that, guys, we still prepared. So now, why am I hearing people saying, I'm going to give up? I don't want to live through that. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to sit on my front lawn and watch the show. You're going to go out of your way to die? Then what the fuck is stopping you now? The quitting attitude, guys, is not part of the prepper community. I'm sorry. And I am speaking for myself. I know I'm not speaking for everyone else. Though I know a few of you think the same way. A few of you. But all of the shit, guys, that we have prepared for, it is getting real. And now that it's getting real, it seems like a lot of you are ready to quit. I've seen this shit before. Just a couple of months ago with the whole vaccine mandates. And now the prepper community, a few of you in the prepper community are talking about quitting. That is not what we do and that is not why we got ready. We didn't get ready, guys, so that we can quit. We didn't get ready, we didn't spend thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars, to get supplies, learn how to prep, watch fucking videos upon videos, just to be like, fuck it, I'm done. That is not why we did this. This, guys, is the time when the shit gets tough and it's going to get a whole hell of a lot tougher, guys. It's probably going to get even painful. That is not for us to give up. The continuity of the human race is the most important thing right now. And for you to give up doesn't make any sense. And then, if you're going to give up, why did you prep at all? Now, I'm going to make a cold statement. You guys are just going to have to fucking deal with it. But if you think like that, if you seriously think that you don't want to live through this shit and that you're going to quit, do yourself a favor right now. Put your preps up on fucking Craigslist and let somebody else have a chance at fucking survival. Because the quitting attitude is stupid. It just doesn't make sense. We prepare for disasters. We prepare for emergencies. This shit that might happen, guys, is going to get a whole hell of a lot worse, like I said before. It is going to be nothing short of a nightmare. But that does not mean you quit. And I'm going to use military guys. I'm not a military guy, clearly. Military guys join the military to fight for whatever reason they're fighting for. They know at some point the shit's going to get real and it's going to, get, it's going to be on. A lot of them still fight. They don't quit. They don't give up. They don't fucking bail. They fucking fight. And a lot of you guys seem like you're going to bail. It seems like as soon as shit gets hot, you're done. That is not what the proper community does. Now, guys, I could see if you're sick, if, let's just say, using a nuclear uh, war as an example, you have radiation poisoning or something and you're sick and you're going to die. That makes sense. But, guys, the reason why we plan is so that we don't end up in that situation. We plan so that we go, all right, if this happens, I'm going to do this. If that happens, I'm going to do this. Right now, a lot of us are compiling fucking different backup plans to negate dying. That is why we prepare. So we don't die and we make sure our family goes on. At the very least, if I die, my family can move on, move forward, hopefully. Quitting is not an option. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I've said it before. I'm going to say it now. And now that shit's getting real and now that shit's getting hot, now is not the time to quit. Now is the time to keep fighting for whatever needs to be fought for, and that's the continuity of the human race. We definitely have to fight for it. Yes, guys, shit is going to get bad. When that dust settles, things are really going to get bad. And again, that's when you fight harder. 
and you keep fighting because evil wants you to lose. Evil wants you to fucking give up. Evil wants to smile in your face as you die. It doesn't want you to uh, succeed. It wants you to fail. Failure is not an option. Evil around the world is going to applaud at what's going to happen and what's going to happen after the nuclear bomb goes off or whatever disaster happens. It doesn't have to be a nuclear bomb. Whatever disaster happens, evil's going to prevail if we give up. If we stop in our tracks and go, nah, fuck it. I can't do it anymore. Evil's going to continue to win. Evil has more balls because they're going to keep going with their plan. You never hear an evil person go, I'm going to give up and die. Never. Evil has a plan and their plan is to just be evil and continue their bullshit and infect other people, kill other people, rape and do whatever the fuck evil does. Why the fuck do good people start getting fucking nervous talk about quitting? That makes no sense to me. Guys, if you need a reason, the one reason is to defeat evil. For a lot of you guys that are Bible thumpers, you guys are looking at the good book and going, well, we got to make it right with God or be right with God so that we get accepted into the kingdom, kingdom of uh, heaven or whatever. Stop. This is the main focus right now. When you die, then you focus on going up there and making good with him. But if you're on this fucking plane, this is the plane you focus on. And this plane, guys, is going to have fucking evil run amok if good people quit and give up. We cannot do that. You cannot do that. All right, guys, so other than that, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.